the Aries UHD 15 to 45 magnification with a 65 millimeter lens by Athlon. This has seriously been one of my favorite spotting scopes. I've had a number of them in the past, and the reason I like this one is because it's easy to use, it's lightweight, and the glass is very clear. But one extra thing is you can get a very affordable other lens here that allows you to have a 22x fixed magnification with a mill reticle in it, which makes it perfect for going to the range and helping my buddy shoot as well as myself. There are so many great features to this scope and I've compared it side by side with other higher end scopes. And yes, those other higher end scopes are a tiny bit clearer, but they cost upwards of two to $3,000 each, whereas this is easily less than a quarter of the price. And so I've been very impressed with this. It makes it so easy to take hunting and hiking with me so I can see things off in the distance. And literally from my front porch, cause I'm able to see up onto the mountain that I hunt, I'm able to see part of my hunting area from my front porch with this to do any early scouting to see if there's any animals running around. It really is an amazing scope and I wanted to show you guys how I took it on the hunt with me this last year and all the other features about it. I'll show you the other accessories I've added here. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So I've had this spotting scope for about eight months or so now, and I've used it in all sorts of different ways. I typically use it with my Primos tripod, which is a trigger controlled tripod, but that's what I'm using for my camera right now. But what I love is that I have these quick detach plates that I can easily throw this on and then go back to my yoke for holding my rifle and do all sorts of swapping on the tripod. The only downside is that tripod is a little wiggly because it's meant to be a hiking stick and a mount for holding your rifle on. So in some of the video, you may see a little bit of that wobble and that's due to the tripod, not the scope itself. Now the first way that I use this is I actually took it out to go to the 22 range with my daughters. We went to the range and I wanted to be able to see where they were hitting out to a distance. So I brought this just for fun and I was amazed how clear I could get it at such a close range. But that's not what we use these for the majority of the time. Obviously we're looking for really far distance. So I was out elk hunting this last year and from one of our lookout spots, there's a face on a mountain that's about 1800 yards away. I was not able to even range it with my rangefinder. I had to go online and get the distance. Here's a picture of that mountain face just with taking a picture so you could see what it looks like with my own eye. And then looking through my binoculars and then looking through the spotting scope. Now, this is one of those hard parts where a stronger tripod would make the picture a lot clearer because in the wind, it vibrates a lot, especially at a high magnification. But you can clearly identify that moose and how big his rack is to know if it's a moose worth going after. Now, I obviously wasn't moose hunting, but I was blown away that in the evening, as the sun was going down, I could get that clear of a picture using this spotting scope. To hold my phone, what I use is this MagView. I bought this on my own. And all it has is this special magnetic eyepiece right here. It allows me to use this metal plate on the back of my phone. I have a magnetic phone holder in my truck and I can place it straight on here like that and it holds my phone perfectly. So all I do is line up the camera inside the view here and then I usually zoom into about 2.2 to 2.5 magnification to get rid of the majority of the black ring around the outside of it. So I absolutely love this mount except for the eye relief that it causes. I wish I had a little bit better eye relief when I'm using this and the rings don't work perfectly. So I had to throw a little bit of duct tape under here just to help hold the rings, hold a nice tight fit. But it has a fastening piece right here, so it holds tight. But one of the cool things that I can do is I can remove this whole eyepiece, which is the 15 to 45 magnifying piece. And I can take this 22 fixed magnification, slip it into here, I to get the lines connected there, twist this on, locked. And now I'm able to use a mill reticle in here. And with this, as I'm out shooting with my friends at distance, I can tell them, hey, they're 0.2 mils low and they can click up 0.2 mils and easily make adjustments. The next scope that I found that has this option is a Vortex and it's more than twice the price for that scope. And it basically does the exact same thing. So I absolutely love the option to have this eyepiece. You can look on here and use that reticle and it's very easy to use. And then if I want, I simply take off the mag view right here and I take this ring off right here and I can put that on the ring here on this eyepiece. 
and squeeze it into place. Now I'm just doing it real rough. And then I'm able to use my phone for calling shots as well. If I'm out shooting by myself, I can use this to record my shot and then go back and look at the footage and see how much I'm off if I'm not able to see it through my scope. So it's like having a spotter with me everywhere that I go for a very affordable price of adding this eyepiece. To detach it, all I have to do is push down and rotate counterclockwise and it's gonna come completely off. And then it's the opposite on this. I'm gonna find this little red hash on here, line it up with an arrow on the side and push down, click it over and then we're lined up. I'm gonna put my mag view back on and I'm good to go. It does include an extending sunshade right here, but I think one of the most impressive things is that this weighs three pounds, 3.8 ounces, completely loaded as you see right here. It makes it very easy to throw into my pack or even just in a side pouch on my backpack so I can easily deploy this to do some glassing up in the mountains. Now you cannot expect to get 85 millimeter objective lens clarity and or better glass clarity with a $500 to $600 spotting scope when compared to a two to $3,000 spotting scope. Having compared this directly next to a $2,500 spotting scope, it was hard to tell the difference. This simply doesn't have as much light transmission and has a little bit more purple coloring around the edges, but performed just as well as another friend who had a more expensive spotting scope. We get so focused on a lot of these accessories to hunting that oftentimes we forget about what the main purpose of the hunt is. And we think, well, if I buy that $3,000 spotting scope, it's gonna pay for itself. And yes, I agree with that mentality, but at the same time, if I can get the same thing done, it's very high quality equipment for a quarter of the price or even sometimes less, then I wanna take that option. And Athlon makes very good glass and their lifetime warranty is very similar to other ones out there where if it breaks, no matter what, they're going to replace it. I plan on getting the carbon fiber tripod from Athlon as well. They have some of the best quality tripods for the price that I've seen on the market. I've simply been very impressed with the scope and if you guys are looking for a spotting scope, whether it's for hunting or bird watching, whatever it is you wanna do with spotting scopes, even if it's just for the range use, this one has been awesome and I definitely recommend it, especially for the price. I haven't found anything that's beat it and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks guys, prepare for self-rescue. See y'all in the next video.